Welcome to Little Mountain on Grandpa's Farm. Grandma gave me a call recently saying my grandpa passed away two weeks ago. We had to come back to Little Mountain here to help out on my grandpa's farm. Now he left us with $5,000. Now he left us with a bunch of different equipment that he couldn't sell off yet because he didn't, he didn't make it in time to sell off anything. Now his plan was to give up on the farm, but since he is sadly gone now, we're going to be taking over this farm and taking over uh, what is left. Now we have two different fields here. We have this field and then we have this big field here already growing with grass as the last thing he done so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen on grandpa's farm well welcome back to a brand new videos boys and girls we are currently posted up in little mountain i'm pretty sure it's iowa i cannot remember i am so sorry if this truck is extremely loud we came back to little mountain iowa with only five thousand dollars left in the bank that my grandma gra grandpa left my grandma and my grandma gave me the five thousand dollars to go ahead and get started on the farm i have no clue what is left on the farm after he passed away very unfortunate i really wish he was still here with us but we're gonna go ahead and try to make this farm and profitable as best as we can here i only have one thing that i took from home with me which is my garden tractor or my subcompact tractor we're almost at the farm and i'll catch you guys over there in a minute and we'll take a look around at the property and see what is left and hopefully we can get started with something today all right and it looks like we're back home on the farm here so i'm just gonna go ahead and park somewhere probably over here at best man the neighbors around here are gonna hate me it's a good thing we're in the country oh real quick i'm gonna show you guys what i mean why we're glad to be in the country with a truck like this this is what I mean. This truck is extremely loud. It is, the cats are deleted and it's got a cherry bomb on it. And this thing is wickedly loud. This is the last truck I had the last time I was actually in Little Mountain. So I'm just going to shut that off. Right off the bat, I see Grandpa kept my Alice Chalmers tractor and a uh, cultivator. It looks like he actually done a lot of work on it too. I miss this tractor. This is one of my favorite tractors. It's my first tractor that Grandpa ever bought me. 87 is Chalmers. It looks like he still has his rig here as a cattle cartel rig. I know it's very funny, but this thing, this thing's nice, dude. He had this thing for a while too. Like he did a lot of work to it. I'm actually very shocked he still has it truck uh looks like he's still got the green grain trailer he has his old suburban still looks like that hasn't been ran in a couple years still has his first international when he started this farm up i didn't take a look inside oh, wait a minute oh, this is new he has a model a on here still has his old ford tractor 9600 ford tractor that was always a good tractor to us too just kind of curious to see what he left up in here oh my well, that's brand new and that combine's new this isn't this is old well, we can use this actually probably later on in the day to go ahead and mow the fields and then we got this the, these two are literally brand new so he, these are not that old i gotta talk to grandma on that one and then we have a 7720 titan too john deere and the uh corn header there yeah let's go ahead and go down here and see what's in here now it's been a couple years since i actually been on this farm i actually moved to a different state and started up my own little farm but i had to give that up and come back here so i sold that farm off to somebody else it has a 863 high flow uh, bobcat corpse on it and then he still has this too 4020 diesel 148 grapple bucket and everything man all the memories are starting to come back being on this farm looks like he hasn't oh, he's been real sick so it's very hard for him to even do anything he got rid of all the uh cattle here which that's gonna be easy that'll be easy to get either way i'm gonna go ahead and talk to grandma and see what else is uh around here all right as i was uh talking to grandma and a couple tears and crying later told me to go in this garage because there's a very special present that grandma or grandpa finished rebuilding for me so Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, this is what he left me. This is what he'd been talking over the phone about. He was rebuilding for me. Open this door here. Oh, dude. Grandma also gave me the keys for it. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, fire her right up. Oh, yeah. This thing sounds so good. But yeah, this is what Grandpa finished rebuilding for me. Looks, dude, this truck is clean. Sierra class. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite trucks. And you got the snow plow on it, too. So we can also, if I wanted to, we could snow plow with this truck, which I'm probably not going to. But I'm going to leave that sit there. We have a bunch of work to get done around the farm here. I got two fields to mow, which I'm probably only going to get the one today. And then we have to order some cattle. So I figure out what we're going to do, I'll be back with you guys. All right, well, I got the new hauling sitting here warming up. I'm going to go ahead and make a phone call to the animal dealer 
and try to get some cattle for us so hopefully we can get that done by the end of the today it's already 10 13 in the morning i'm gonna go ahead and make the phone call to the animal dealer got the animals all ordered up they'll be here later on in the evening so i'm gonna go ahead or we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and start mowing the field at least one of them because it's it's gonna probably take a little bit so i think what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit some headlands first go ahead and do that oh yeah this mower runs like brand new still man i always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights figure i should probably give it a try Baby, check it out. All right, well, I got the whole headland done. And I got a couple passes done as well. I already took care of the animal dealer. He already stopped here and dropped off the animals for us. It is now going on 3.40 p.m., which is completely fine. I already knew we wasn't going to have enough time to get the other field done. like that we got the whole field mode now i gotta go ahead and find a baler and we can go ahead and get the bell in here so we'll go ahead and park this here and try to find a beller probably just use the old alice and chalmers all so here's our cattle it only costs us 2500 dollars for uh baby cattle i know they don't look like babies but of course farm simple logic anyways it only costs us 2500 for for baby cattle we got 10 of them so see if there's a baler around here somewhere i'm pretty sure grandpa had one i'm not yep. okay there it is i'll quickly go ahead and go ahead and get this backed up i'll do a little bit of maintenance on this should be good to go All right, well, I'm about halfway through the field here of bailing, and then pretty soon I can come in here and pick up all these bales. Downside is I don't have a flat deck trailer. I mean, I do, but it's a tilt bed, and I don't know if it'd really work out the greatest. If I put a ton of bales on there, it is probably gonna break the axles. I'll come up with an idea, probably lease a trailer if I can find one on the marketplace. Maybe not, see what goes on, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll be back with you guys shortly. I already got all the bailing done here, so we have a lot of bells to pick up. What I might do is just sell all these bells. We're really hurting for money, and I did uh, call the dealership. I called the dealership because I looked online on their website. They have a DJ Gooseneck trailer for $2,000, so I think that's what we're going to be doing. It is a used, used trailer, so that's probably our best bet to go get is the uh, PJ Gooseneck. We're going to go to the dealership, look at that, and then come back, and then we can go ahead and pick up all them bales. I'm going to be taking a square body over there because... My truck doesn't have a gooseneck. And then I'll catch you guys once we get over to the dealership. Alrighty, just got to the dealership. It's not that far of a drive. So I'm guessing that's the trailer. Yeah, this is the trailer. Definitely the trailer. Let's go ahead and make the purchase. And then we can go ahead and get up out of here. Alright, we're definitely hurting for some money now. That was $2,000. Probably well spent. So, well, it's going to be well spent. So, yep. Alright, just made it back over to farm. Now it's time to load up some bales. Alrighty, well, that's two bales loaded up. Now, since this trailer is not wide enough, I have to do it like this. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the bales and I'll be back with you guys. All right, well, she's definitely loaded down. These bales are not light, as you guys can tell. She is squatting a little bit. Sorry to have a little bit of squat here and there. I'm gonna go ahead and take these to the elevator. We gotta come back, probably put those in storage for the cattle. I tell you right now, at least the elevator ain't that far from the farm. Well, they gave us $6,500 for all them bales, which isn't pretty bad. We're now up to $8,898, which is really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and save the rest of the bales that we got for our uh, cows. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the storage here. Just gonna keep the trailer over here where the hay bales go. It just makes more sense, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, tractor away now. Probably just probably just call it quits for today. Go ahead and go get some dinner for me and grandma because I am starving. I still gotta clean up off, off equipment and put that all the way, which should only take about like a half an hour or two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and go get dinner for me and grandma. <laughs> God, this truck is so loud. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Welcome to Little Mountain on Grandpa's farm. Grandma gave me a call recently saying my grandpa passed away two weeks ago. We had to come back to Little Mountain here to help out on my grandpa's farm. He left us with a bunch of different equipment that he couldn't sell off yet because he didn't, he didn't make it in time to sell off anything. Now, his plan was to get up on the farm, but since he is sadly gone now, we're going to be taking over this farm and taking over uh, what is left. Now, we have two different fields here. We have this field, and then we have this big field here already to grow up with grass as the last thing he done so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen on grandpa's farm good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel where we are back on grandpa's farm and we have a lot of things to do i got to cultivate both of the fields and get them prepped for the next plant and not too entirely sure when that's going to be but i do want to get the cultivating done and just get that all out of the way and so I know that's all done. So if you're wondering why I now have twenty more thousand dollars than what I did in the last episode is because I actually did that field, belted it all up, and took it all straight to the co-op over there. And let me go you, made some pretty good, decent money. But I would like to get this field all cultivated and the other field all cultivated, and then I'll probably just go from there for today. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I just need to figure out what we're going to be planting next i mean it is almost winter time literally so yeah but i guess we can go ahead and take the big john deere 370 out of here which is the ar and the cultivator get this warmed up so let's go ahead and just get that warmed up and one thing I didn't realize that was in here was this uh, skid steer no plow. So I, I guess that'll be a uh, pretty good help around the farm just in case we get a snowstorm and we need to get out of here. So that should be warmed up now. It's been about like maybe 20 minutes since I had it warming up. I know the one thing I didn't find on the farm was a planter, but yeah, we got to, it would be nice to actually invest into a planter, but being so late in the season, I don't really feel the need to actually go and buy a planter right now. I mean, I could always wait till next season, but uh, I guess we'll just see what goes on. But like to cultivate the uh, headlands here first is what I'm trying to do and get lined up. It's honestly great that Grandpa did buy this last piece of equipment because it is honestly a lot of help around the farm i mean it's not really a big field but i can see why he bought it just for the length or the width it's not going to be the uh purpose this job in the world but we will sure get it done and ready for the next planting with it going to be snowing here i mean we could try to plant some vegetables like uh per se i would love to do corn I don't know exactly what to plant since it is already October. It's almost the end of the month already, uh, but I don't know. Like I said, I'll just I'll figure it out. Well, with Sue being in the tractor, she's our next door neighbor, and she always gives, gave Grandpa help when I wasn't here. And uh, we were just talking there for a little bit, and she said she'll help me cult finish cultivating while I gotta go figure out some other things. I do want to look at a planter, so that's what we're gonna be going to look at right now. Alrighty, so good news and bad news. I found a good planner. It's a little bit of old school planner. The dealership has it for sale, but bad news is $45,000 that we do not have. I only have about 28000 in the bank uh, sent currently right now, so I don't 
Honestly, I have no clue what to do from here being with that much money in the bank. I mean, I can go ahead and post up uh, probably the Ford for sale, to be honest. I mean, not that I really want to do that, but nope, you got to do what you got to do sometimes so you can get a little bit of pocket change. So I think that's what we're going to do is go ahead and sell the Ford. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Uh, probably just gonna let that warm up for a little bit, uh, spray it off, and then go ahead and put it up front at the house for sale, and then see if somebody stops in and gets it. Alrighty, well the old girl does sure clean up pretty fine there, but I got it up for sale. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait and see if anybody stops in and see if they want to buy it here. While we're waiting on the Ford to be sold, I guess we can go ahead and check up on Sue. I still gotta put the mower away. Oh, she's already almost done. You missed a little bit of patch over here, Sue. That's all right, I'll get it when you're done. Right, well, the tractor's gone. He's already halfway down the road there, and that Ford does move. Uh, but made about $14,000, and uh, somehow still don't got enough for the planner. Anyways, I guess let's go ahead and hop back into the, the AR and then we can fix that little patch there and then go ahead and get the other side cultivated. Alright, let me go ahead and take this over to the other field, get that all cultivated and done. I would like to mow around the farm as well. I'm just gonna go over to the sort and see if we can't just get a planter for lease. Let's go ahead and finish cultivating later the other field because it really doesn't need it right now. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to go ahead and see if I can't get a planter and I did not look for any oncoming traffic. I already just got over to the uh, IH dealer here and then gonna go ahead and see if they have planner up for lease here. So, Alrighty, well, there's our new planner on for lease. It's about $500 a month or a thousand. I can't remember exactly what he said. Go ahead and hook this bad boy up and then we should be good to go. Quite a bit of time, but I got the seeds up there. Uh, all because you should. You shouldn't. Okay, well, we made it back to the farm, and it looks like we do still got our seeds up on our uh, cedar here. So, hey, my theory was right. If it fits, it chips. All right, guys. Well, I decided not to plant. I did buy the planter. I had to go buy new batteries for my camera because my batteries ran out and I didn't realize it so I didn't really capture anything that I really did. The only thing that I did capture was obviously cultivating the other field, which Sue did help us with that. I do gotta cultivate this field as well because I'm just prepping for winter. Changed all my plants. I'm not gonna be planting right now. I'm just gonna wait until after winter because I guess we're gonna be getting a snowfall here. If you are wondering why I'm driving a Ford right now is because I actually traded my Chevy for this Ford because we wanted each other's trucks. This is what I traded my Chevy for and this looks super nice here. I might change the wheels and tires back. I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, it's gonna be a good farm truck we have a ranch hand on it of course and then obviously we have our toolbox and the back rack and this one's that's the only thing that i took out of the truck and plus we have a gooseneck ball hook on the back of this f-350 as well but currently trying to put everything away besides the cultivator and the 8r over there because i gotta finish cultivating that field right there i'm just like i said i'm just prepping for winter here i'm gonna go ahead and move this back into the shed try to get that model a started here i don't know how long it's been sitting there but i'm gonna go ahead and just put everything away that's one piece of machine down and i can't wait to use this after winter dude like I said, this was a new machine that Grandpa bought well, but I do want to get that hooked up to the skid steer. I'm going to go ahead and continue putting this stuff back and then go ahead and get the cultivating as well. I'm actually very shocked this uh, IH here that Grandpa owned still runs. Like, I'm actually shocked that it still runs to this day. I did put the baler in there. I kept the uh, grain carts in there, and then I put the uh, new planter that we have on lease. Hopefully we can get that paid off real soon. And then I have my cultivator for my Alice Chalmers in the back here. That's what we got going for us. I still gotta get the semi in the uh, shed as well. Alrighty, well, hopefully I have enough room to go here and the cultivator, and, and the I should honestly get that planter to try to get the semi in here. I'm gonna go ahead and it jump out. up and see where it's getting started. Down. It's already warmed up, ready to go. The and then go ahead and cultivate so we can get that out of the way. And for, uh, I'm pretty sure gonna be coming to pretty soon to help us get this out of the way or get this done and stuff. Cause up here it's breakneck, paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm kind of feeling like a small.
Hey, well, I got Sue in the tractor there. She just came by after I got done finished with the headland there. So I'm just going to let her finish up and then get her a good payday as well before winter. She been helping me around the farm a lot too, but I got to, I got to move this planter. I don't like it sitting there. I want to put the, uh, the whole tractor trailer in here too. Oh yeah, just like that. We have a lot of room in here. I was honestly scared that we wasn't going to have any type of room to fit this whole thing in here. Good on that and have the, all the equipment is away now. Besides the model way, I gotta try to get it started here. Put that away, and then I gotta get the cultivator and the ADR back in there. When Sue's all done, looks like she's already done. But just in case the uh, model way doesn't start, just go ahead and pull my the Ford around. Just let it sit there for about 10 minutes, and she should be done. I'm fully charged. We're not fully charged, but see the progress on Sue. Looks like she uh, has one more streak to do. I think over winter time, I do want to try to get that Suburban started. I mean, not like we have any use for it around the uh, farm, but another vehicle wouldn't hurt. Oh, so, I guess let's go ahead and give this mod away a try since she's been charging here for a couple minutes now. Hop up in here and see if she'll go. Almost. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. There you go. All right, let that thing warm up right here. Get the jumpers off of it. But yeah, I think after winter, I'm actually like extremely excited to plant in corn and harvest that. Actually, really excited about that here. But of course, that'll be after winter. Oh yeah, my backup skills are on point. All right, we got everything put away. Put away first, too. Actually, I lied. We had the other John Deere and the skid steer, so I'll go ahead and put those away. As always, if you guys did enjoy today's video, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Welcome to Little Mountain on Grandpa's Farm. Grandma gave me a call recently saying my grandpa passed away two weeks ago. We had to come back to Little Mountain here to help out on my grandpa's farm. He left us with a bunch of different equipment that he couldn't sell off yet because he didn't, he didn't make it in time to sell off anything. Now, his plan was to give up on the farm, but since he is sadly gone now, we're going to be taking over this farm and taking over uh, what is left. Now, we have two different fields here. We have this field, and then we have this big field here already to grow with grass as the last thing he done so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen on grandpa's farm welcome back to grandpa's farm you guys can see i got a lot done i just really didn't do much mowing i did all around the house and a lot of pathways and this that and the next thing i was just working on the old gmc suburban here all running and everything i th pretty much got the battery all charged it's got some fire to it so i just want i'm just been trying to get this started because i want to clean it up and then just go ahead and just try to sell it so i can make a little bit of money i know i got fifty nine thousand dollars but that's because i was helping the neighbors and that uh do a bunch of other things with it being november 4th i don't really have a much a lot of plans i know i gotta sell the cattle make a little bit of money off of that they've been eating pretty good as you guys can see we got you know grass in there and whatnot but yeah our cattle our herd's been eating pretty good so i'm just waiting for animal dealer to come pick them up and just basically just go from there to be honest but i guess let's go ahead and see if this old gmc will run i got basically all these spark plugs are replaced the battery replaced the starter there are already the parts on it replaced so i guess let's go ahead and just jump right in and try to get it fired up almost come on girl you got this come on oh yeah Ooh, still sounds good oh yeah and i see grandpa still never got that door fixed all right well the suburban's running so now i'm gonna go ahead and just move my ford out of the way and then go ahead and go ahead and get it my truck almost did not start I think I drained almost all the battery out. Alright, anyway, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all cleaned up and washed. I got some paint that I can mix up the paint with. So, with that being said, I can go ahead and, uh... Oh, and she's still... I don't even want to... Oh, I don't even know if I want to sell this anymore. He moves on his own power. Whatever I'll be making out of this Suburban, it'd be going to Grandma anyway, so... Yeah, there's no brakes. Oh, please don't tell me. I just dented the tailgate in that thing. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing washed up and the paint all fixed up and whatnot. Alrighty, and uh, with about five hours into the project, we got it all fixed up, cleaned it up, and she's looking pretty again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take her for a little bit of a drive. Let's take this old girl for a spin. I haven't drove her in a while. 
go ahead and just make a turn here and go down to the gas station a little bit of gas man i still can't believe how nice this interior is on this suburban it's been a couple years since she ran but hey she's pretty pretty she's pretty so chalk they're even still in business around here can i help you yeah let me get uh five fill up with on diesel? pump one it's gonna go ahead back over to the farmer because I guess grandma did call me and say someone's gonna be stopping. That's from the uh, or yeah, the bank or whatever. I don't know. That kind of scares me a little bit, but I'm gonna go back home and wait for them to show up and just see what is going on. All right, and it looks like they did come and pick up our, the cows. So we made about forty-five hundred bucks out of that. Now I got sixty-four thousand sitting pretty in the bank. Still waiting for the uh, person from the bank to show up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, finish up what I'm doing around the farm and then I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for the guy to show up. I just got back because I just took this for a drive for a little bit to what the neighbors were doing. Who is this? This this can't be the guy from the bank, can it? Hey buddy, uh where where buddy, where you going? Yeah, I just thought you were some random person driving through my yard there. Yeah, I didn't know Grandpa had a uh, old road going around the farm. But, uh, yeah, anyways, you guys, you wanted to talk to me or Grandma? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's great. I didn't know that. I've been been back for about a month and a half, and I'm just now finding this out. Can't you, uh, give us a break? Because Grandpa did recently pass away about a month and a half ago, too, so. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable, sir. Alrighty, you have a good day. Alrighty, well, that was definitely a guy from the bank. News, we lost the farm. So I guess with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and just sell the Suburban and uh, get rid of what I can. I can't get rid of nothing, because he did say Grandpa's. All the, equi all the equipment belong to the bank. Besides a couple things, so. Probably not even gonna worry about it. Probably just let it all go with the farm. Because it is at, what it is at this point, we, me and my grandma didn't know that grandpa had a million dollar debt. So yeah, that's wonderful. I guess I can go ahead and get the uh, gooseneck loaded up here. I'm going to go ahead and just pack what I can, get grandma ready, and just get our clothes ready to go and just go from there. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm not going to take the gooseneck. I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and get my belt deck and my mower and have grandma follow me in the square body. All right, well, got that all loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and tell Grandma to get ready. And then we'll just go ahead and find a new home to live. Because it looks like, to me, we're just going to go ahead and get up out of the little mountain. Just move somewhere else for the rest of our lives. Probably make a new farm. Let me go ahead and get Grandma. Let her know that we're ready. All right, Grandma, you ready? Let's go ahead and just put everything in the storage. We'll put the square body, the trailer, and my truck and the mower into a storage unit somewhere close around here not a couple miles away from from river bend and then we'll uh, go ahead and just start our new lives in river bend whenever we get there grandma all right just follow me to the storage unit Alrighty, well i got grandma following me we're gonna go ahead and get a storage unit a couple miles out of uh the new town that we're gonna go into with the money that we have right now so whenever we get to River Bend, I'll meet you guys then. But I hope you guys enjoyed Grandpa's survive, uh, Grandpa's farm farming series. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you guys in River Bend. Alrighty, well I do want to apologize that this series was a little bit short of Grandpa's farm. I know I didn't have really a lot of time to record on this series. Farming Simulator 25 just around the corner, literally less than a week away. Real quick, guys, I know Grandpa's farm series was a little bit short, but with Farming Simulator 25 right around the corner, I just wanted to wrap this series up on a pretty good of a cliffhanger. Most definitely be making another Grandpa's farm series. So until then, I'll catch you guys in River Bend. Thank you guys for all, all your love and support. Make sure you go ahead and get Farming Simulator 25, first link in the description. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.